did this, the cowboy fiddle playing. Another version of Cowboy Fiddles, it's a place I've always told you that you can call home. A place that you can go ahead and learn some new recipes, that you can cook up with your own family and learn to experiment with your own taste buds. Now, as you know, I like to sing when I'm cooking, so I'm going to repeat a song that I like. Put another log on the fire. Cook me up some green chili sauce. Need it for my empaladas, my tamales, and my enchiladas. And I actually even like that on my huevos. Now, let me show you what we're going to do today. Now, as you guys uh, may remember, I made up some green chili sauce. That's what we need for this. I also canned up some pork, which actually, I tell you what, is going to be good. Now, Obviously, you're going to need some uh, oil, and you can use whatever you want. You can go ahead and then use uh, uh, virgin olive oil. You can use canola oil. You can use what we use, uh, the pure vegetable oil. You're going to need some cheese. And now, I tell you what, we've got some petite diced uh, uh, tomatoes. We've got our olives and stuff. Now you can get those olives looking awful pretty and stuff out of the store in the can. But we went ahead and chopped ours down. You're going to need some all, uh, some onion. Now some folks, they actually uh, like to even cook up uh, their enchiladas with uh, black beans. Today we're not doing that because we're using pork. Everyone's flavor is a little bit different. But what you're also going to need is you're going to need some... Uh, yellow corn tortillas uh, that you can fry up in your skillet. Now we have the garlic powder. Now we've uh, went ahead and, and uh, dipped out about, oh, I guess maybe one and a half uh, teaspoons because we don't want it overpowering. We have about the same amount of salt and stuff that we're going to add in there. All righty. Well, let's start shredding this uh, pork up because we want the pork enchiladas today. You know, as you remember, I went ahead and canned this up previously. And what we're going to do is we're going to drain off all the excess juice so I can start shredding this. Let's get this out of there. Oh, no. There we go. Now I have some onion and I have some garlic in there. No, 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 no. They don't want to come out that easy. But let's go ahead and get this out of the way. We don't need it. Now, we got that juice out of there. We don't need this pan. I might use that juice to make up some gravy later on though. Now, let me get my bowl over here because what we're going to do is we're going to start shredding this. And what you need, folks, is a couple of forks uh, to shred it down. Now, this meat is already cooked up uh, from the pressure cooker. So it's not going to take a lot of effort. I don't have to put it in the oven as far as cooking it. All I got to do is lay it down into my enchiladas and they're gonna be good now, I know everyone has their own special flavor of the way they do things how much seasoning they put into it what we have uh, in our home is the way we like it and I'm gonna show you my way oh and there's some good onion and garlic in there already I can see that let me show you something folks after shredding this down after just about 30 seconds and uh, having pressure canned it, that's how easy it was instead of putting it into the oven and cooking it up uh, from scratch. So, you remember I told you that I 
have some garlic powder, even though we had a little bit of garlic when we were uh, pressure canning our meat. I'm going to dump in that uh, tablespoon, or actually teaspoon and a half in there. I'm going to dump in a little bit of salt in here. Get that going. Then I'm going to, I don't use a whole lot of onions all the time. So I've got a half of an onion. I'm going to dump that in there as well. All right, so what we're going to do now, you, you, you remember that uh, black olives that I chopped up and stuff in my grinder and stuff? And I know you guys hate using when I use the word stuff, but, you know, that's just who I am. I'm going to use a small portion of this. I'm inside there if I don't uh, continue to knock over my statues. Now I'm going to mix this up. But this is what it, uh, the final process is as far as the meat and putting a few of these ingredients in. And we've got some more that we're going to be adding to it as we get going. So let me kind of tilt this bowl back a little bit. Take a look at that, folks. Doesn't that look good? Now I'm going to crank up. My pans, get them going. And it's time to break out the corn tortillas. We need them. I've got my plate uh, heating up. And we're going to cook them only for a short amount of time because they're going to be going in the oven after we get everything done. So I've got two of them going. And I got my tongs so I don't burn my fingers. So let's get this going. I hope I got that on high enough. That one there, by golly, she's doing her uh, job. Now you're gonna need a plate with a paper towel on it because you don't want all that grease in there. You don't want it to be dripping wet. Well, we're getting our tortillas done. You don't want to go ahead and uh, overcook them and stuff because they're gonna be hard and not palatable. You need to be able to have them moist enough uh, that they can get the job done. You're only going to need to put them in the hide oil for about, no, nah, maybe 15, 20 seconds uh, on each side. Well, we've got our first couple done now. Now let's go ahead and get the next couple done. There we go. We're getting her done. Now, as you know, we're going to be doing pork enchiladas uh, instead of chicken, which you can do it uh, on a lot of different things. You can do lamb, you can do chicken, you can do turkey, you can do whatever your uh, flavor uh, uh, requires of you. But this is what we've got. Now, as you remember, this meat here was pressure canned here a couple weeks ago. We added in some onions, we've added in some seasoning, some salt, some garlic powder. We've added in some black olives and we're going to be using that. Now let me show you what we're going to do here now. We're going to take one of these soft pliable tortillas. We're going to throw that on my cutting board and you know what? We're going to add in some of this. Oh! I don't know if I can wait until uh, tonight to eat these things. They might just look too good. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get some of these petite diced tomatoes and we're going to throw them in there. Not a ton of them, but just enough to give it a little bit more flair, if you know what I mean. Then we're going to go ahead and let me use this other spoon. Then we're going to take some of this, you remember that green chili sauce I made the other day? Guess what? It's going in there too. Oh, that looks so good. And I had some of that the other day. And I tell you what, it was good. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to throw in just a sprinkling of uh, shredded cheese in here. And I know some folks, they like to go ahead and use that uh, multi-cheese, uh, uh, Mexican cheese stuff. And that's good, but for me it doesn't have much flavor. Now we're going to wrap that up just a little bit, flip it over, put that in our pan. 
As you can see, I'm getting uh, about halfway done with this stuff. And I only need, with the size of uh, corn tortillas, about a tablespoon of the meat. Because it's got other things in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of a canned green chili sauce. Get that going around there. Then we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of our petite uh, tomatoes. Then we're going to go ahead and add in some shredded cheese because you know what? We like Kobe cheese. We like shredded uh, cheddar cheese. Wrap that up. Throw that puppy in here. Well, we finished up the rest of our process here as far as getting it all prepared for our pork enchiladas. Now, and they look good They're just the way they are. But now we gotta put in the finishing touches. A lot of folks, you'll know this is an ice cream scoop, but I like to use it for a lot of different things because I like to spread my stuff around evenly. We're gonna put in some of this green chili sauce in here that I lovingly made up and pressure can and throw some of this on here so it'll help uh, make this uh, taste delicious now we come out with about 10 of these uh, puppies yeah looking good I tell you what if you've never had enchiladas you like mine. All right. Let me show you something here, folks. Now, you don't need a ton of uh, this uh, green chili sauce on your enchiladas because we've already got some inside. But depending on your flavor, it's going to dictate how much you want to use. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you something here, folks. Remember that cheddar cheese? We put some already inside, but we're going to put a liberal amount on this. We want that gooey and stuff. Let's get this going. Just a little bit more because I like cheese. It makes me a jolly good fellow. <laughs> now, remember I did told you I didn't uh, buy up any of them uh, canned uh, type of black olives where they were perfectly sliced and I just put them in my uh, chopper? Well, guess what? I'm going to throw some of these on here. They may not look as pretty, but they do the same job. Sprinkle that around just a little bit more. Then I'm gonna spread that out. Boom, there it is. Well, we finally got her all done. That's the end product. Now it's time to pop this puppy into the oven. We're gonna put it on 375 degrees and we're going to cook it for about 20 minutes. We don't want to cook it more than that because let's face it folks, the meat's already done. We pressure canned that uh, pork. We uh, uh, pressure canned our green chili sauce so it doesn't need a whole lot of cooking. So in about 20 minutes, oh boy, oh boy, I'm looking forward to lunch today. All right, well I tell you what, uh, it's been 20 minutes uh, since we put these puppies in the oven. Our pork enchiladas are done. Now it's time to grow up down, but let me show you what it looks like. Boy, don't them look tasty. I tell you what, I haven't eaten all day because I've been busy cooking and doing uh, different things. But I'm ready to grub down now and fill my belly. I'm gonna give me just a little bit more of that. Yeah, you heard that noise. Now, take a look at that, folks. All right, let's give it a taste test. Mm. Oh, you know, there is one 
thing I'm forgetting on this, and I know everyone's a little bit different. Mmm. As they say in Spanish, muy delicioso. But here's one thing that I forgot. Give me one moment. I forgot my Tabasco sauce. Cause I like a little bit of extra flavor in it. Let's go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of this around here. Now I know my kids, they don't like this stuff. I do. Now let's see what kind of heat we can uh, turn this up to. Nope, needs a little bit more. I wonder if my dog will eat it. Perfection, folks. Now, I tell you what, if you like enchiladas, subscribe to our button down below. You know, click on the like button. Come and visit us on social media. Enjoy some of the recipes that we uh, are uh, creating for you. And I'm going to tell you what, oh my God, that is so good. In the meantime, Cowboy Vittles, come and get them.